हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास सेवन स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन चैप्टर हीट आवर टॉपिक इज रेडिएशन ऑफ हीट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद सम डेली लाइफ एक्सपीरियंस वी फील वार्म व्हेन वी सीट इन द सन और ड्यूरिंग विंटर सीजन इन फ्रंट ऑफ फायर और इन फ्रंट ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रिक हीटर so how does heat travel from the sun from the fire and from the heater to us because there is no direct contact between us and the source of heat isn't it and also air between us and the source of heat is a bad conductor therefore heat transfer cannot be due to conduction it cannot be by convection even because the hot air rises upwards not towards us obviously in fact heat from any distant source reaches us by another mode of heat transfer which is called radiation so i repeat heat from any distant source reaches us by the mode of radiation so all hot substances whether solid liquid or gases transfer heat by radiation because this method does not need medium radiation needs no medium transfer of heat by radiation can occur even in vacuum now if you look at this picture heat radiation can travel through vacuum that is why heat from sun can reach to planets like us please draw and practice this diagram heat from the source of energy that is sun reaches to earth through vacuum by the process of radiation as you know the layer of atmosphere is present only surrounding earth rest of the part in the universe is vacuum therefore we can say that heat can radiate in vacuum so we can define radiation in the following way direct transfer of heat from a hot body to a cold body having no contact between them and without the help of any medium is called radiation the heat transferred by this process is called radiant heat or thermal radiation now let's see how this radiant heat is absorbed by the objects radiant heat consists of thermal radiation when thermal radiation falls on a body a part of it is absorbed by it the absorbed radiation makes the body molecules of the body to vibrate more vigorously the increased molecular vibration makes the body hotter that is how thermal radiation is absorbed by a body so following are the features which control the amount of heat like quantity of heat absorbed by a body in radiation depends on its distance from the source of heat it's very much clear that if you sit near the fire near the fireplace you will feel hotter isn't it so this point is clear to us that quantity of heat absorbed by a body depends on its distance from the source of it feature number 2 black bodies are better heat absorbers than the white bodies from our daily experience we know that 
we try to avoid dark colored clothes like black colored cloth during summer instead we put on light colored or white colored dresses during very hot summer days isn't it it is because why it is because we feel hotter in dark colored clothes particularly in black colored clothes so black bodies are better heat absorbers also black bodies are better heat radiators so black color can absorb heat more and radiate more than the light colors we will now we will see to an activity and this point would be very much clear to you okay students please read and practice this activity that to show that the black bodies are better heat absorbers for this activity we need two identical tin cans one is black and other other one is white painted and thermometer so now we have to pour equal volume of water in the two cans then we will insert laboratory thermometer in each can and both the cans will be placed in the sun for about an hour after an hour read the temperature of water in both the cans we can read the temperature from the by the help of thermometer we can see that water in the black can is found to be or warmer than that of the white can as you can see the setup can painted white can painted black temperature of the water in black can is higher than the temperature in white can so it proves that absorption radiant heat by black and white bodies because this this setup is kept under sun so this rise in temperature depends on how much heat is absorbed by this two cans isn't it so we can conclude from this activity that black bodies are better heat absorber than the white bodies that's why we try to avoid black clothes while we are going out during very hot summer days instead we prefer white colored clothes right so from the previous activities it is clear that black colored or dark colored bodies are better heat absorber and better heat radiators than white colored or light colored bodies now we will read some more examples based on this concept for example a bright shiny surface is a poor absorber of radiation because it reflect the radiation falling on it that's why radiators in car buses refrigerators are painted black okay is it clear radiators car radiators radiators in buses or refrigerators because these machines get heated up while they are working therefore heat have to be radiated next the fire fighting suit of the fire fighters is bright and shiny so that it does not absorb more heat now some more examples like why is more comfortable why is it more comfortable to wear white or light colored cloth in summer we wear white or light colored cloth during summer because but dark colored in winter it's because white or light colored cloths absorb less heat and keep us cool right then why does an electric room heater has a polished surface an electric room heater is provided with a carved polish metal reflector behind the heating element this polished surface reflects back all the heat radiation falling on it towards the persons sitting in front of the room heater 
which is very much needed right next one why is the bottom of cooking utensils painted black black bodies are good heat absorber and bright bodies are poor radiators so bottom of cooking utensil is painted black and the sides are kept bright colored okay so we have completed the topic radiation of heat now at last we will read about the working of a thermos flask a thermos flask is a very important utility material for us during winter right so because it maintains the temperature of the substance kept in it that is it keeps a hot substance hot and a cold substance cold for long time why so because the outer casing of a thermos flask is made up of plastic either plastic or metal plastic being a poor conductor of heat act as an insulator preventing the heat loss through conduction inside it is a double walled container made of glass or stainless steel both the walls are polished so they are shiny the space between the two walls are polished the space between the two walls is a vacuum this vacuum prevent heat loss through convection process since why since there is no air present in it to carry out the heat okay so a shiny and also the shiny surface of the wall prevent heat loss through radiation okay so the most important part are shiny surfaces and space between the walls that is how a thermos flask work depending on the concept of radiation of heat so at the end of this lesson we have learned these key points number 1 what is heat heat is a form of energy that flows from hot object to a cold object number 2 temperature degree of hotness or coldness of an object is referred as temperature next thermometer it is a instrument used to measure temperature conduction transfer of heat from a hotter part to the colder part of an object conductors materials that conduct heat easily insulators materials that do not conduct heat convection is the mode of heat transfer with the help of actual movement of the particles radiation mode of transfer in which there is no medium required so these are the key points of this chapter so at the end of the lesson your homework is please read the lesson carefully and try to answer the questions question number 1 in which mode of heat transfer no medium is required yes what is the answer it is radiation correct give one example of heat transfer by radiation yes you can give any example like sitting near the fireplace or reaching of solar energy on earth what is the other name of thermal radiation question 4 a piece of white paper and another of black paper are placed over the snow under sun in which case the ice would melt faster number 5 last question what is the reason for making fire fighting suits bright and shiny so i guess you are able to answer all these questions Thank you very much meet you in the next class